just like the term goes, Mexican American, I think that that is essentially what I am, because I hold both cultures, um, and I just take the best out of each one of them. My mother came uh, to the United States. This is where we we were raised. We were born and raised, and that I mean that essentially formed me to to become you know a person that you know was able to be you know submerged in one culture and then you know being able to learn another one and you know very distinctly with me i was always able to bridge that gap between different people i think that my unique background you know being mexican american has allowed me to be able to do that i am the first college graduate i'm not going to say it was very easy to to achieve because i feel that you know since my parents did not go to college, I had to, you know, kind of figure out things on my own. I've always been very passionate about politics and helping my community, getting involved on campus and, you know, you know, even with my own neighbors. A law school has been, you know, something that I've really wanted to do. The LSATs are not as easy as just taking any type of exam. It's, it's an exam that you really have to prepare for kind of getting into that routine where I wake up and sometimes it would take, you know, four or five hours of studying and just, you know, sitting there and going over the practice problems. After university, um, you just, you know that you're able to accomplish anything you set your mind to.